Welcome, and thank you for joining us with today's webinar, Relationship Marketing, Connect and Influence. And today, I will be co-hosting as well as Carol Ward. I'm Sharon Grimm with Send Out Cards. I've been with Send Out Cards close to six years. I'm out of Hudson, Massachusetts, and... I'm Carol Ward, as you said, mm -hmm. and I'm out of Westboro, Massachusetts, and I have been with Send Out Cards for five years now. It is an amazing company, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. And then, at the halfway mark, we get to introduce a good friend of ours, Bruce Fairclaw, and he's going to tell you how he's used Send Out Cards to change lives and connect and all kinds of wonderful things. Absolutely. So we're going to spend the first 15 minutes just overviewing Send Out Cards, and then Bruce will join us at the halfway point. So thank you so much for joining us, and we'll just get going. The information that we're going to present to you today will change your how you view relationships, both personally and professionally. And we're super excited to be able to share this with you and that you came to join us. Send Out Cards is making a positive impact worldwide and every single day and we are very excited to join us and we want you to be part of this movement without Absolutely. changing anything you currently do and before we get too deep into it i want to give you an overview of send out cards themselves and where we came from so back in 2003 cody bateman founded send out cards and our international headquarters are located in salt lake city utah and we're a member of the direct sellers association Cody had this dream that he wanted to take the offline brick and mortar environment of greeting cards and gifts and create an online quick and order environment. So just like Amazon did for books, Netflix did for movies, and iTunes did for music, these three billion dollar companies, holy moly, they have effectively collapsed the inefficiencies in our marketplace and they've made our lives easier. So Amazon, I don't know about you, but they spend a lot of time delivering to my house. I've had daily <laughs> deliveries again this week. So they've just changed the way that we look at the marketplace and how we source our stuff. Netflix is the reason why we have binge watching. You can simply go out and find a movie series or you might find a new TV series that you want to get involved in and before you know it, your weekend is gone. Well, they've changed the way that we do all that. And iTunes, well, when's the last time you saw a music store? I know that personally, I cannot remember the last time I was in one, let alone the last time I drove by one. So these companies are completely changing the way that we look at things, and they've made it more digital. Absolutely. And Send Out Cards is doing oh. the exact same thing in the greeting card in gift industry, whether you're in the, your home, in your office, sitting in an airport, wherever, you can send a card and hit, uh, pick out a card, address it, and then hit send. And send out cards, prints it, stuffs it, stamps it, and mails it for you. That's the magic. The magic. And that's why I joined. Um, oh, me too. Uh, it's just One thing. little word. We <laughs> mail it. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> so... Send Out Cards has been a part of this digital revolution that's upon us. Just like the largest taxi company owns no taxis, and the largest Perfect. telecom company owns no lines, okay. the largest media owner creates no content, Facebook, the largest movie house has no cinemas, Netflix, and the largest software vendor, they don't create the apps, Apple and Google. Well, the soon-to-be largest greeting card and gifting company has no stores. Send Out Cards. And Send Out Cards is the best customer relationship building program in the world. They've sent over 140 million greeting cards and 7 million gifts in the last 13 years. In fact, Send Out Cards is the number one mm. user of the United States postage stamp. That is sweet. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. So these cards that we've been talking about, you create them right on your computer. Or mm -hmm. your smartphone. And it doesn't matter if you have an Android or an iPhone. You can send from either one. Absolutely. 
And you realize that what that's done, it creates that mm. need to for instant gratification that everyone is a part of these days because of our smartphones and our computers and our tablets. Well, anywhere you go, you now have all of these things at your fingertips. You're reading your books, watching movies. You even do business. And in fact, our CEO, Cody Bateman, we did a little research, and it turns out 80% of business follow-up falls into just three categories. Thank you for meeting with me. It was great to meet you. And celebrating the possibilities of our relationship in doing business. So we created this beautiful first impression kit, which comes in two colors, pearl white and satin black. And it's super easy to send. Oh, my Lord, is it ever. Let's see. Let's show them. Awesome. Okay, so when you click on the app, this is what shows up on your phone. And as soon as you look at it, you can send one of those cards that we just talked about. Simply click on the double envelope at the bottom. That's our campaigns, which is where this is stored. And up pops the list of all the campaigns that you have. We're going to do the white new possibilities one for this demonstration. Click on that and in pops the card right into your phone. Pretty sweet. You simply swipe. And here you can put in a very personalized picture that will make that customer really, really oh, amazing what they, what they think of these things when they get them. So you just pop it in, automatically formatted. You swipe again, and here you've got where you can put in your message. And we have a pre-populated one that you can use if your words aren't coming to you. But if you want to personalize it, please do. There are numerous options for that. And once you've got your message all completed, just swipe one more time and take a look at the back of your card. This is your brand. This is how you differentiate yourself and make this card your own from top to bottom. So come up with a brand that makes you you. And then we're simply going to go in and select who it's going to go to. Kind of important. LJ is already in our context. We'll click on that. And now it says it's going to be so many points and so much expense. That's simply what this card is costing you. It's coming out of your account. Click submit and look what shows up in that mailbox. Wow. Absolutely. Talk about not only a first impression, how about a lasting impression? Totally. And the great part of this is how inexpensive it is. Mm. That card right there in our best plan is $2. Yeah. It's great. So let's talk about pricing. Okay. All right. Let's do that. So we have plans and different various plans and packages for you to join send out cards. The preferred monthly package is hundred points a month at $39 a month. No commitment. Nothing. And we have a couple other options. We have your retail package at nine eighty a month as well as the pay as you go, which is a sliding scale fee for each of your points. And depending on how many points you buy is how much you pay. Sweet. Well, yeah. But we also um, have these bundles that we've put together that really help you maximize value. The first impressions kit that we just showed you, that comes with both the marketing and the business bundle. And that is such an incredible value. That alone is a $249 value. The business bundle, if you purchase that, it has not only the tools that we've talked about, it also has a multi-user account. And that has a $1,380 value. Wow, unbelievable. The marketing bundle is our sweet spot for most people. Mm -hmm. If you don't need that uh, multi-user account, then everything else that you need is right here at your fingertips. And as you can see, that too is an amazing value at $395 with an, all of the things put together would be a $754 value if you bought it individually. And then um, our personal bundle is for those people that are maybe on a little bit tighter budget. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of that is you can always upgrade. So you're not locked in forever. You can upgrade if you want to start at one and move to another. So just check back with whoever sent you here and they'll help you make that decision so that it's best for you and your company. Absolutely. And as you're looking over this, you may pop in a few people in your head. Oh my gosh, they would really love this. Oh. Or you would like to refer to the person that sent you here today. Yeah. Well, we're just going to talk to you about how much it costs to become a distributor. It's $50 on top of whatever package you choose. And if you happen to pair it up with the marketing bundle or the business bundle, 
you're going to get a bonus follow-up kit for customers and distributors on your growing business with send out cards. And do you realize that that alone has a $99 value? Yeah. And I can tell you, I bought it myself because I had already been in the business when they came out with that. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I need that. Yeah, that's fairly new. So we'll take a look at what that yes. looks like right now. Absolutely. Um, the distributor follow-up campaigns are, well, first we'll talk about the customers. In this, for a four touch campaign to your new send out cards customers. And here it is, it has welcome, keep calm and send on. It's just really nice. It kind of trickles across a two week period mm. and touches them four times. So for your new team members, there's also a four touch campaign mm -hmm. for them. Seamless and easy. Absolutely, push the button. Mm -hmm. So we've also um, wanted to tell you that as we're going through the next part of this, you will, be thinking about where you fit into this. And just to give you a reference point, you would be a one if you're a customer, you're a two if you're a referral partner, or perhaps you want a self-funding marketing plan, which we can give you more information on that. You're a three if you want to earn money working part-time and maybe pay off that nagging bill. Maybe it's a school loan or a car loan, something that you want to be able to target. Or you might actually be looking to um, replace your current income, and then you would be a number four. Nice, huh? True. Yeah, so we're just going to take a quick moment and just go over how we earn money here as distributors. Absolutely. So let's just focus on the marketing bundle, and you get a customer acquisition bonus, and you can earn up to $335 for each marketing bundle you sell. You can also earn up to $195 for every marketing bundle sold in your organization. Simply double these numbers for business bundle and have them for the personal bundle. So that's immediate customer acquisition bonus, one part of the way that we earn commissions. Yes, and the other way that you can earn um, an income is what we call our residual income. As a distributor, you're gonna be sharing this with people. And you're going to run into people, like Sharon said, that also want to be a distributor. And so as you add people to your organization, you're going to, before you add them, you're going to have customers that um, every time they purchase points, you'll get a 20% commission from that. That's a monthly check that is paid out for all of the um, activity on your organization, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And like I said, as you're adding people to your organization, you might add three people at the first level and each one of them would add three and three and three and three. And before you know it, your organization is so big that you don't know who's in it. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you went down seven levels, that would be 3,200 people. And you're earning a commission every month off of the volume that they do because they're going to have customers just like you do. And they're going to see the value of it and just keep sharing it. So you might have... Uh, initially, a 2% commission on all of their volume. As you go up in rank, it increases. So how big is your check going to be? Well, that all depends on how big your team is. So true. So get look at all the information that we provided mm -hmm. and get back to the person that sent you here today. Definitely. And just let them know if you're one, a customer, and we love customers. Uh, yes. Two, referral partner. Three, you just want to earn money part-time on the side before you want to replace your current income. Absolutely. And do you realize that Send Out Cards is poised for massive growth? Over just the next few years, millions of people are going to experience the wonderful life of Send Out Cards. They are amazing, life-changing mm. things. And we're poised for international expansion. And we will be a worldwide household name. Join us today. And now we have the esteem halfway point where we get to bring on Bruce Barclough. And he's going to say how to pronounce that last name in a second here. <laughs> um, Bruce, are you there? Yes, I am, ladies. How are you today? Oh, we, we are, are awesome. Fantastic. And I'm going to get the privilege of introducing you, and then you're taking it over from here. So, woohoo! There's Bruce. Awesome. Bruce actually is a very special person to me because he's one of my Send Out Cards big brothers, I guess I'll, I'll call it that way. Um, he, Bruce is born and raised in Plainville, Connecticut, and has been in central Connecticut almost his entire life. 
He's a senior manager with Sendo Cards and he's been with Sendo Cards since 2009. He's a former president of a local BNI chapter and has served for two years as a BNI director consultant. Former VP of a customer of customer support for an online gallery solutions provider for professional photographers. Sweet. Currently serves as the business manager for a landscaping and property management company owned by his fantastic son. In his spare time, he is a professional photographer and has done sports and wedding photography as well as creating inspirational imagery, which you're going to see. In his earlier years, he was a police officer, and Whoa. this is a new one on me, an EMT and is owner of a mortgage company. In his spare time, like he has any spare time, he's a Shriner, a father, two very successful young men, and four beautiful grandchildren. Outside of man. Yeah. Outside of work and building his business when he's not too busy being a grandfather or a Shriner, he is working his on his upcoming book, Influence and Inspiration, The Real Leadership. So please welcome Bruce. Welcome. Yay! So excited to have you, Bruce. Good afternoon, ladies, and thanks for inviting me on this call. Um, <clears throat> one of the things, if you can uh, go ahead to the next slide, there I am. Um, one of the things that Sharon asked me to talk about today was how I've uh, incorporated send out cards with a number of organizations as it, and as you can tell I am a Shriner and that's me over on the right getting ready to uh, march in one of the parades that we march in and that's one of our clowns but um, I want to talk first of all about how organizations need our help you know it's it's a kind of a common fact that people aren't joining organizations anymore uh, I've been a Shriner since 1993 and been a member of quite a few other civic and, and local volunteer organizations. And let's face it, the trend is nobody is joining organizations anymore. It's, it's not as prevalent as it once was. And the other problem, of course, is a, a challenge for all of them is their membership roles are getting along in years um, in addition to losing members. So. When I'm talking about organizations, be thinking about all the different ones that we could approach. There's the fraternal organizations, the Masons, the KFC, the Knights of Columbus, uh, Elks, Grange. Uh, civic organizations would be Alliance Clubs, Rotary Clubs, volunteer like Humane Society, uh, shelters, volunteer fire departments. Uh, ambulance squads, rescue squads, and of course, religious organizations, churches, etc. Next slide, please. Now, obviously, the one thing that we can do to help them is to show them a solution for staying in. It's the best way to do that, but to send everybody a birthday card. Now, just so you know, most of these organizations have secretaries that are stressed to the max they volunteer their time, they don't have enough time to be doing all this, and you can come in as a hero and show them a way to send your membership a, a personalized birthday card, and you'll see here on the slide that I designed one for our sh local Shriners, but of course you can take photos or use some of their photos and design it any way they'd like to. Now one of the things you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come in with a budget for them and show them how much it would cost uh, for their members um, because they want to plan ahead. Uh, you're going to want to be talking to the, the head honchos that are coming in for the upcoming year, which is a great time to talk about right now, and show them what they can do for the upcoming year on their budget. Another thing that you could talk to them about is um, possibly using it as uh, a card to thank them on the anniversary of their membership. And of course, you're going to want to talk about events, so you're going to want to promote your events. And as we did here, we are showing them how great it is to be at one of the events and how much fun you're going to have if you come to one of their events because they want to promote these events that are going on. So next slide. You also want to get people out to the meetings. And again, you want to make the membership feel, gee, I'm missing out if I don't go to these meetings. Show pictures on the card. 
good time, uh, what's coming up, that sort of thing. Formal invitations, of course, uh, when you have big events coming up, like uh, we have a formal reception every year, this is a great way to do that. Send out a classy invitation. Now, next slide, other possibilities include subgroups within these organizations. In the Shriners, they're made up of units and clubs, and each one of those units and clubs can also, just like the parent organization with, and what you do is you simply make use of the groups feature in your back office to segment all the different members into the different groups. Next slide, please. Almost all these organizations offer some type of an award ceremony every year. They do like what they call a five-year service pins, five-year, 10-year, 15-year anniversaries. It'd be great to have a photographer there taking photos and then send them out a card congratulating them on their award. And what do you think is going to be sitting on their mantle or on their desk for the entire year, but that card with their picture on it? Absolutely. Next slide. You also want to talk about successful events and show pictures of successful events that you had so that that's going to want to make people attend more. Um, and you also want to thank the members that did come out for making it a successful event. The next one is what I'm really proud of. I did a uh, card for um, the Holiday Inn up in Rutland where we go every year where there's a big parade up there. And to this day, this card was from three years ago, but to this day, every day we go back, every year we go back to that Holiday Inn. She has that card sitting up on the bulletin board because she was so proud of getting that card, thanking her for putting that event together for us. So it's not only within your membership, but also remembering to thank people outside the organizations. Now, moving on, you want to personalize. Sometimes you, if you get somebody that really wants to do some more personal cards, you want to tie in people that are having a little bit of a challenge. In this case, you know, uh, have a happy birthday but we also appreciate the challenges you've been going through and we wanted to remember you. The next slide shows one where you go, well, why a couple of goats? Well, guess what? The person I sent this card to happens to be a goat farmer. And I heard that she was sick and we sent her a card to, um, to wish her to, to get well, but we had a couple of baby goats doing it. Finally, in the business building realm, uh, this was one, I we were talking about organizations, but this was one that I used to use in BNI, and I used to remind people you could spend $10 to treat somebody to lunch, but you could spend $10 to send out 10 different cards to remember, uh, have your customers remember who you are. So that's just some of the ideas that I had now. Finally, my theme, uh, and, and you could kind of tell this from my book, is not to sell, but to inspire and to be an influencer. And of course, you're never too important to be nice to people. So if they get it, if you have a key person in that organization, um, you may even suggest to them that, and you mentioned it in your previous slides, how they could use this as a fundraiser to pay for the cards that they're gonna be sending out all year and you could offer uh, customer subscriptions to some of the members, the ladies, whatever, and that could help pay for the cards that they send out for their, their members. Now, how to approach these organizations? Just look through Facebook. It's the greatest tool going. Everybody's going to be posting who's a member that they are a member of an organization. The thing you wanna ask is who are the active people? Who are the movers and shakers in that organization and would they mind giving you a referral to that person and it's simply a matter of approaching that person and say look I have something that might really work to build your membership and they're gonna they're gonna want to listen to that <clears throat> so in conclusion I went back and, and did a survey of a lot of the cards that I had sent and almost all of them 
that I used to introduce send out cards didn't work <laughs> when I used it as a way to introduce it. What I'm saying here is send out a heartfelt card first, build your influence with that person, and then talk to them about what you want to talk about. That's been my success, sending the heartfelt card first. So that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> wow. <coughs> awesome. I really, I really like how you, you went through a whole lifting people up. I like the ripple effect. It's not just even about <coughs> the organization. And, you know, you're obviously keeping top of mind awareness within the membership and keeping right. the goodwill, the lifting up. But you also use the ripple of all the people that are supporting this organization, as in the people that yeah. the in the hotels, the and imagine just thinking the people that might provide <coughs> or or you know, it's just you're looking at the whole picture. Right. You know? Yeah, the the organization gives you a great starting point. And keep in mind too that while you might be having an, a subscription, a $39 a month subscription to just, you know, an individual or a family. Um, if you get an organization in as a customer, um, we're talking in some cases hundreds, if not thousands of people. I mean, we, we send out close to, a, you know, a thousand birthday cards a year. So that reaches a lot of people. And of course, you want to you wanna sell a bundle because you want that real estate on the back of the card. That's, that's going to be a great feature to have for them to promote themselves even more. Right, because then they have the whole inside of the card for their message and everything, and they still have their, their own marketing on the back. So it's oh, and, and one, more, one more thing. Uh, keep in mind that you've got a, a, up your sleeve, you've got a trifold card. Yeah. And what I'm finding is it, it – I'm looking at this right now for our own, or, own organization. A lot of these places send out newsletters, multi-page newsletters, and it's more cost-effective to send out these cards. Cool. Right. We don't have a <coughs> trifold card here, but essentially, you know, it's a three-panel card, kind of like your – has an extra flip out. It has an panel. extra flip, so you have a whole other dimension, a whole <coughs> to use. So right. it, like – What's it like a third more real estate? I would Something say. Something like that. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah. 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 And it's the same postage stamp. You're not increasing your postage at all. Right. And uh, you don't have to have all these volunteers stuffing them. So, no, this is fantastic. I love, I didn't know you were using it to this much level. I am the busy man with so it. So glad yes. we had you on. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is that Maya Angelou saying? Who knows it? Yeah, people will forget what you said. They will forget what you do, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. And that's what you do. Very doing. close, yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, Absolutely. It's it's all about insp inspiring people and influencing. It's not about selling and it's not about managing. It's all about inspiration and, and influencing. And Absolutely. I, um, I'm part of the Hudson Elks here. And I know Carol's part of some other, you know, fundraising groups mm -hmm. and people join these groups for inspiration and community Absolutely. and, and they want it to be successful. So this is totally in line with their mission. Well, and, and the other thing with some of these groups, um, is, is I did mention it briefly is the aging effect and, you know, let's face it, it it's, you know, the, it's tough to stay in touch via email with some of these folks that are in their late 70s and 80s who just, you know, basically don't know what a computer is. Right. And, and you still want to be able to reach out, out to them and stay in touch with them. And then on the other flip side of that, you have millennials that have never had a card sent to them. So it's a totally unique and wonderful, feel, wonderful feeling to them. Absolutely. Yes. And then it blows their mind even more when they can do it from sitting there from their cell phone. <laughs> exactly. So and speaking their language then. <laughs> great. Well, thank you so much. Um, thank you for those that are joining us, whether it's live or, or on the replay. Um, if you have any questions, you can 
find Bruce on LinkedIn or YouTube or Facebook. You can also or reach through out us. through <laughs> us. You can reach out. We have our email addresses, Carol and I's contact information here. And we have a fantastic event coming up September 21st. And Bruce will be there as well as us. You yes, can meet all three of us. If you're interested in watching this, come join us. And it's why don't you go ahead and explain the event? <laughs> this event is going to be just an outstanding thing for anyone in business who wants to be able to maximize how they use their networking time. Because we have Dr. Ivan Meisner, the founder of BNI, who is going to be our keynote speaker. And he's going to be talking about network for success. In addition to that, we have Jordan Adler, who is the top earner in Send Out Cards and an amazing trainer and speaker. And we also have Steve Schultz, who is going to be coming and being our MC for the day. It's going to be a phenomenal event that we are absolutely going to um, be able to show you with takeaways on how to take your networking to the next level. So I really hope that you can join us. The Eventbrite link is down below. And that's it for today. So thank you so much for your time today. And I hope that you find this helpful and that you found some great new ways to use send out cards. I know I have. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you.